Don't ask a question of the Trinity that would actually destroy your own religion. So be consistent. If you have an argument against the Trinity that makes you reject the Trinity, make sure it's not an argument that I can turn against Islam, making you reject Islam. Be consistent. Well, go ahead. What's your question? Um, I'm just like, and again, I know this is like a question you get all the time. Well, that's but okay. It's, it's kind of hard for me to understand how a God came on, came down to earth and like... Remember I said, don't ask that question? You know why? I'll tell you why. So you have a problem with God coming down to the earth, becoming man. Okay. But your Allah goes down to the lowest part of yes, heaven. Yes, without resembling his creation. He doesn't But he still goes down, right? Yeah, but he but doesn't even the shin, they, Notice, you, take it easy, Ali. You're not saying anything. Allah still comes down, right? Yes. And Allah still has a shin, even though it's unlike any creation. So you're saying nothing when you say, well, it's unlike anything creation. I know that. But he still has to come down. Why does he have to come down? And why does he come down the third part of the night? Did Allah not know that there are certain parts of the world where it's night here, it's day there? Uh, I don't understand your argument for the okay. third part. Uh, why does Allah have to come down from above the throne to the lowest part of heaven, closest to the earth, to say, whoever now wants to pray and ask, I will hear. He can't hear from above the throne. Why does he have to go down? And isn't he going down into creation? Isn't heaven a creation? How does he enter his creation? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It's uh, so What's your problem with Jesus? Being the word of God, becoming flesh, entering the world to become a man. I don't know. It's just for me, it's weird to worship a man. Which you're okay worshiping a God that has a shin, at least three eyes, at least two right hands, who wears a garment, who has gonads, and has to come down to the lowest part of the heaven, and you're okay with worshiping that kind of freakish God. Okay. Yeah, That's okay you... for you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Can you like, uh, I, I know it's going to sound like... Uh hypocritical but can you give me like arguments like without using uh islam yeah i have to show you be consistent because if you're gonna reject christianity stop being a muslim go back to like your father be an atheist but the arguments is why can't jesus be god who becomes man without ceasing to be god what's the problem with that what's so you, you're telling me you don't accept but that's your opinion why would that be a problem because i want you to listen carefully I'm not trying to turn the subject. I want to come back to Jesus, but I want to show you what you supposedly believe. What you believe about the Quran is what we believe about Jesus. You believe Quran is kalam Allah, the speech, the word of Allah that's uncreated. But it's also a book, kitab. So if the Quran is uncreated, but it's a book, and that book is created, that's two natures. So why then would you have a problem with the word of God that's uncreated becomes flesh, becomes man. And as a man, he has a body that's created. But because he's the word, he is uncreated, that he can be both things at the same time. Yeah, but the kitab, the part of Allah, when we say that the Quran is not created, we're talking about what's in the Quran, the speech of Allah. Sure, but it's still a kitab, it's a book. Yeah, but we don't worship the book. The book is not a part like the full we need Quran to worship was... the book. I'm, trying to, I'm not saying worship, we're going to get to worship. You at least accept the fact that the word can become physical and part of creation because the word became a book. Okay, That's yeah, all I'm sure, saying. Sure. Sure, sure. And when I burned the Arabic Quran... I'm destroying that physical book, that material physical book, but the Quran itself is still uncreated, even though I may burn the Arabic Quran, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean I destroyed the Quran. The Quran still exists, right? Yeah. So Jesus can die as a man, his body be killed, and still be alive because you cannot wipe out Christ from existence. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. I'm trying to get you to see that first. So if Jesus is God, the Word, uncreated, one with God, inseparable from him, and he becomes a man, then what do you do when you see God? You you dance with him or you worship him? Worship him. So that's why we worship Jesus, because we know he's God who became flesh. Oh, okay. And I had a question because um, I'm not really, like, I don't know a lot about Christianity, but um, Jesus is the son, right? Yep. And before, like, everything, before the earth was created, there was there was always a trinity, according to your belief. Yep, right? Father, Son, and Spirit, yep. Okay, so before everything was created, was the Son Jesus? or The Son, Jesus, always existed as the Son, because I just told you, He's the Word of the Father. And God has never existed without His Word. Okay, but Jesus itself, like the human part, the flesh. That was created from the Virgin. The Word came into the Virgin Mary to become flesh, human from her womb. He wasn't always man. He wasn't always called Jesus, but He's always the Word, the Son, who always existed. Okay, another is it okay if I just like crap? No, you can ask it, but you know what's amazing? Your Quran teaches what I just told you about Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your Quran says what I just said about Jesus. It's in Surah the Nisa, chapter yeah, it's, four. It's the word from God. It says, Kalimatuhu, the word 
of him that he did what with? Sent down into Maryam. Yeah. Okay, wait. If he was sent down into Maryam, that means he was up there. Up there with who? Uh, with uh, Allah. So you just admit that Jesus, as the word, was there with Allah, and then he came down to Mary. And when he came down to Mary, he came down as what? Ruhin minhu, spirit from him. Yeah, I guess so. But wait, when did he become flesh then? When did the, well, when he was born. Oh, so you just agreed with us Christians. When he was there, he wasn't flesh, he wasn't a man. He was the word of God, and as word, he's spirit, not physical. But he comes down to become physical and flesh from Mary. That's exactly yeah. what we teach, and it's in the Quran. 4171 uh, without the aspect of uh, him being a god but uh, my next well, question, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. if the word is uncreated how many uncreated are there I'll let you ask your questions I just want you to understand think more deeply what you're saying if the word is uncreated how many uncreated are there uh, one well and I know who is that one that's uncreated Allah and but you just said the word is uncreated but if only yeah. Allah is uncreated then what does that make his word yeah but uh, from what I've heard uh, it doesn't say that um, uh, Jesus is the word uh, of Allah. It says that it's the word. Uh, actually, no, never mind. But no, I, I'd have to do research. <laughs> no, in Sunni Islam, the two titles of Islam found in the Hadith is Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah. Those are the names given to him in the Sunnah. Because it comes from the Quranic ayat that says a word of Allah from him. So he's called Kalimat Allah. Word of Allah, Ruh Allah. Those are the two names given to Jesus in Islam. And it comes from the sunnah of your prophet. I have all the references. So no, he is called that. But point being, if the word is uncreated and only God is uncreated, then the word has to be God, meaning divine. Like your word is human in nature, right? Sorry? You're human, right? So when your word comes out of your mouth, what kind of quality is that? Is that human speech? Yeah. So your word is human in nature, right? Yeah. And when an angel speaks, that would be angelic speech, right? So it's angelic in nature, right? Yeah. So then the word of God, what nature would it have if it's from God? Uh, God, uh, God, uh, God like You nature. got it. So Jesus is God in nature because if he's the word of God and God's word is not angelic speech or human speech, it's not created, then it's divine speech. So Jesus is divine, meaning God in nature. That's exactly what we teach.